Hi everyone, this is Nurse Anna from NurseStudy.net and now we're going to be doing 15 quick nursing tips and facts. Enjoy. And if you would like one of our free audio books with NCLEX questions on ACX or Audible, the links are in the description below. Enjoy the questions. Albumin levels. Low serum albumin less than 3.5 grams per deciliter can indicate poor nutritional status and delayed wound healing. Post-op atelectasis. Common within the first 24 to 48 hours post-op, encourage coughing, deep breathing, and incentive spirometry. Surgical hand scrub, should last 3 to 5 minutes, cleaning from fingers to elbows with antimicrobial soap. Stage 1 pressure injury. Non-blanchable erythema of intact skin. Reposition every 2 hours to prevent progression. Hypernatremia. Symptoms include thirst, dry mucous membranes, restlessness, and confusion. Treat with hypotonic fluids. Hypocalcemia. Look for tetany, positive Chvostex and Trousseau signs, and laryngeal spasms. Compartment syndrome. Pain out of proportion, pallor, paresthesia, paralysis, and pulselessness. Requires emergency fasciotomy. NG tube suction. Use low intermittent suction, usually 20 to 40 millimeters of mercury, to prevent mucosal damage. Hand hygiene before and after gloves. Always wash hands before donning and after removing gloves. Gloves are not a substitute. Postmastectomy care. Avoid blood pressure, IVs, and blood draws on the affected arm to reduce lymphedema risk. Wound drainage colors. Sanguineous, bloody, serosanguinous, pink, serous, clear yellow, purulent, infected. IV infiltration. Signs include swelling, coolness, and pallor at the site. Stop infusion, elevate limb, and apply a warm compress. Chest physiotherapy. Helps mobilize secretions in patients with pneumonia or cystic fibrosis, best done before meals. Pre-op NPO orders. Patients are usually NPO for 6 to 8 hours before surgery to reduce aspiration risk under anesthesia. Stoma appearance. A healthy stoma should be red and moist. Pale or purple indicates compromised blood flow, report immediately. Diabetic foot care. Inspect feet daily, avoid walking barefoot, and do not trim corns or calluses without medical supervision.